I was on a plane going to London, and I asked for a coffee, and I heard somebody go, Sam Fisher. And I'm going, what? And I look up, and there's this guy in his undone three-piece suit standing over me, going, you're Sam Fisher. And I went, no, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, actually, I guess I am. My name is Sam Fisher. I used to be a hero. Now I'm a wanted man. I am a double agent. Sam Fisher's genesis from the beginning, because I think he was a little more pro-gung-ho in the first, first game, the first two games. They had a, a G.I. Joe kind of aspect about him, you know. I didn't want that. I wanted somebody who was basically almost like a weapon the government's used too many times. You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. I wanted that kind of jaded kind of character. Sam Fisher is, is, can, could have been very two-dimensional, flat, cardboard, finish him. <laughs> I didn't want to play this character like a game character. I didn't want him to be two-dimensional and be a cliche. Uh, yet some of the writing has to go that way. It has to be explanatory. So it's been a nice little problem of trying to find the middle. Taking something that might have a, a, a cliche to it, or might, trying to find some way to get under it and turn it and make it real. Are you all right? Is that a joke? They've allowed me to play a lot of the lines and a lot of the scenarios to accommodate me and my sensitivity towards the character.